Welcome to getting started with Qt Creator. In this video, we'll guide you through the initial steps to create a project using Qt Creator. Assuming you have already installed it on your computer, let's dive in. First, click on Create Project. For our demonstration, we'll choose Qt Widgets application since we are building a desktop application that supports C++. Next, name your project and select the project location. For this example, let's name our project Miles Converter. Now, select the appropriate build system. For simplicity, we'll stick with the default options. Choose Q main window as the base class and keep the class information default. Since we don't need a translation for our application, we'll leave it at none. Then select the kit. If it is missing, install it using the Qt maintenance tool for your respective system. We won't be connecting a version control system like Git, so select none and then press finish. Now, let's explore the project folder. You'll find four major files. The first is the main function. The second, the main window.cpp, where we'll program the functionality. Then main window.h, which is the header file, and main window.ui, where we design the user interface. Starting with main window.ui, drag and drop two line edits for inputting miles and displaying kilometers, and add a button for conversion. We can also add the labels for better clarity. To implement functionality, right click on the button and select go to slot and choose click. This will create a necessary method in the CPP file and the declaration in the header file. You can also do this manually. Now, in the main window.cpp file, connect the button to the functionality using the line connect UI push button signal clicked, comma this, comma slot on push button clicked. This single line of code is pivotal in establishing a connection between the user interface elements and underlying logic for our application. Here's how it works. The connect function provided by Qt acts as a bridge linking the action of clicking the push button widget in our graphical user interface to a specific function in our C++ code. When the push button is clicked, it emits a signal called clicked, which is intercepted by the connect function. This signal is then connected to a slot function named on push button clicked within our main window class. Essentially, this means that whenever the button is clicked on push button clicked, Functions will be invoked automatically, allowing us to execute the desired functionality in response to the user's action. In this segment of code, we define a function named on push button clicked within our main window class. This function serves as a response to the user clicking the push button in our GUI. Within this function, we first declare a variable miles to store the conversion factor from miles to kilometers. We then retrieve the user input from a line edit widget named line edit and convert it to double using a two double function. Next, we perform the conversion calculation by multiplying the user input in miles by conversion factor. The result is stored in a variable named kilometers. To display the converted value in the GUI, we convert the kilometers variable to a string using qString number function and set this string as a text of another line edit widget named line edit 2. Essentially, this function takes the user entered distance in miles, converts it into kilometers using the conversion factor and displays the result in the designated area of the GUI for the user to see. With the functionality in place, let's build and run the project. You will see that the miles is being converted to kilometers seamlessly. And there you have it. You are now ready to start creating your own projects using Qt Creator. Happy coding!